You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. So much confusion. was clear, but my body, it would oh. not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe it. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Sable in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al-Mu'alim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al-Mu'alim's study. When I am finished here, I will show you all I know.
Atair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Tell you, Altair! Abbas! Stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of! You are not worthy to wield it! No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? What was that? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? Altair, barely 26 and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? I 
I've made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. <laughs>